Coach, uh, two for you. First, um, obviously Giannis goes for 47, and we were talking earlier about, you know, just him in the paint. But when, when he starts hitting shots the way he was hitting them today, um, just does that change the way that you have to game plan for him in the future? Or are you just assuming that today was kind of an outlier of sorts and that he won't have another 4-3 type of game? I think you, we, we can live with that. You know, what we can live with is, is you know, all the dunks, offensive rebounds, transition buckets. You know, you live with the with the, the shooting. You know, here we are. He had 50, and we have a shot to tie. We didn't play well. So, you know, he, although he was sensational tonight, I think the game plan was fine. And it's it's about all the other things that we can clean up uh, in order to give ourselves a better chance. And, and then second, when, when you look at how tight this game was and then you consider that you don't have James Harden, who was obviously a big part of what you guys can do offensively, does that give you any confidence going forward that, hey, we, we stuck in there without these without a guy like Harden and now in the playoffs if we meet these guys, they haven't seen you play with them, so maybe they don't know what you're capable of fully versus you knowing what they can do? Yeah, I'm not so much worried about what they know. I mean, you know for us, obviously, we have the luxury of talent. We have great players. We don't have the luxury of time. And... So that's okay. We, we understand that and we'll work around that. Um, you know, James will give us a totally different dimension, but we don't sit here and say, well, wait till James gets back. We, we try to solve the puzzle now. And so um, James will give us obviously, uh, you know, something uh, you know, great to build on, but we can look at all the things that we did wrong today. And there was a lot of things that I thought, well, we just weren't sharp tonight. So uh, we clean some of those things up and I think we give ourselves a better chance. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Steve, I have two as well. Obviously, Milwaukee's a great defensive team. Just where do you think they gave you guys the most issues offensively? Um, you know, I, I mean, we didn't, we didn't shoot the ball very well. We weren't really sure. I thought we got a little stagnant at times. We turned the ball over a ton, you know, on unforced turnovers. So they're a good defensive team. Uh, we scored 114 points and didn't shoot the ball well, turned it over all the time. So I think it's more about us playing a little better, a little sharper, taking care of the basketball. Um, we were a little better in the second half in that respect, but, you know, getting a chance to see some of these top teams and play them this time of the season uh, is important for us. So tonight I think we'll learn a lot from this experience. And then Jeff went down, but then came back in. Just what, if, if you have an update on him? I don't. Uh, I know he took a knee and a hip, but um, I have no idea uh, how he's going. Tom Dowd, BrooklynNets.com. Hey, Steve, you know, back-to-back 40-point games for KD, and, and his shooting numbers are just outrageous since he got back from the hamstring. You know, what did you see from him today? Yeah, I mean, he carried us through long stretches. You know, I think we, we struggled offensively a little bit just with our rhythm, our timing, uh, our connectivity. We got a little, like I said, stagnant. And we, we probably tried to go one-on-one too often, but he, he kept us in the game offensively um, at, at, at different times. So he, he's been Kevin's Kevin. He's one of the, one of the best to ever do it. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, hey, Steve. This is a twofold one with uh, KD and Kyrie. There are nine turnovers between them. Are you assessing that more to their defense or more you guys? And secondly, you largely left DJ alone with Giannis. Um, does today change your opinion on you know giving him a little bit more help, digs, and so forth? Uh, no, I think it's more the cleaning up the times that we weren't in our schemes. You know, I think he's going to make shots like that. You took your hats from, uh, you know, DJ did a good job. I think when he was on him, keeping him away from the basket, making him score over top of him, and, and that's fine. We can live with that. You know, I think you know, when we clean some of those things up uh, around the, you know, our performance, you know, it's not so so difficult to, you know, to take that, that 49 points. So I, I don't, you know, react too much to his hot shooting. You know, that's going to happen. Uh, I think there was all the other things that we could have done better that shifted the balance of the game.